So now I'm gonna start talking about the Superman films. I've already talked about BVS and Man of Steel. So I'm gonna do the rest. There's two films that are gonna be years later. So that's why I'm doing it now. Also, I'm write any notes for this video and the next video that I'm gonna record today. So I don't know how this is gonna go. The very first, I guess, like Superman movie, 1951. Superman and the Mole Man. Or Mole Man? Mole Man. Either way. I wasn't expecting much. Superhero films were not really a big thing. I was expecting mediocre at best. And what I got was mediocre at best. I think the Clark Kent part is decent in this film but whenever it's superman with that goofy ass costume not an awful costume at least to me it's just i guess it fits for the 50s because of i don't know back back in the day they love drawing things out cut out and i've been over 58 minutes or just slightly under an hour so we got these mole men who come up from like the underground there's like three of them go throughout the town i'm assuming smallville because you know it's superman they have radiations anything they touch about sickness and radiation sickness or whatnot and so obviously the townspeople they freak out because of what they don't know these three mole men they just look goofy as heck this is what the so-called villains are gonna be because they're not really like a big bad in this movie at all it's just misunderstood that's what the whole movie is about they meet this little girl that's just ball and it's like cause radiation aside from just looking kind of dumb and ridiculous it just caused a panic in the town they even have like little weapons right they have weapons of their own bring it out okay kill that guy there's one townsperson who's set on killing these small men because they're not human kind of like a big part in this film where the townspeople are they don't see superman as human so they immediately hate them and think they're all evil in the grand scheme of things they don't do much they're just kind of there i kind of got from this movie where nothing really happens like nothing superman as happens at all and then the only time superman even shows up is like near the end so townspeople most of them are again notable based off their fear not knowing what they're dealing with with superman and the mole man expected that they have this reaction like god damn it's boring and then oh yeah lois lane is in this movie and i completely forgot about her but essentially she's kind of there as well you know she does her recorder stuff it's just dead it's actually not shown which i don't know why they didn't show that i don't know if it was just with time or they just didn't want to i'm assuming they just didn't want to i don't I don't think she even knows the secret because i think he like runs away to do the whole superman thing she's always like why does he always do this running away like that and then clark kent super himself he's all right pretty decent clark kent in this film he's in it for most of it and whenever it goes to superman like i said earlier a bit goofy the sole survivor was an infant boy who came you know it's like oh okay this is superman guys this is 1951 superman and you know what it is what it is i may be giving it slightly a pass because i don't know superhero movies weren't thing i think there was like tv movies like three hour movies right back in the day where Batman Superman before this film but those were like TV so I guess it's like the first part sure I looked that up my researcher but either way Clark Kent's actually decent him being the one in the middle trying to tell you know these top people like hey these moments ain't doing anything while at the same time hopefully these moments as Clark Kent and Superman which is a very Superman thing to do it just makes sense so they got the core of the character right him helping anybody whether it's alien mole man or human helping anybody in need of help they got that everything that's around it just kind of sucks kind of drags on and just really boring so and then there's not an action sequence no there's not. Damn, you know more I think about it, this movie just sucks. A shed turning on a fire. There are three little moments being on a bridge and one of the house people shooting them in the stomach. Them running away a lot. This radiation blast gun. That one really horrible bad house person that really wants these moment dead. Kinda sucks. So Superman and the moment. I don't know what to give it rating. Like nothing happens. It's a boring film. Kinda suck. Leaning more towards bad, but there's nothing I didn't hate this movie. The only bad things were the moment costume and the whole superman sequence. Everything else was just fine. So I don't know. I guess I'll say Superman and the Moment, the 1951 film, was really boring, just slightly bad. Feels like a cop out, but slightly bad. Kind of okay. I don't know. But that's it for me. This has been the road so far, and thank